Welcome to Community Taking Action, ABCD's program highlighting people and organizations doing great things in and around the Boston area. Today, we're going to have a wonderful time. We're going to talk about taxes, and here to help with that conversation is Angelina Camacho from the ABCD Tax Program. Welcome to the program. Thank you for having me. So, Angie, now that we're in tax season, talk a little bit about Financial Futures Initiative, and then let's jump right into taxes and, and all that that entails. Okay. The Financial Futures Initiative supports the overarching mission of ABCD to give people the empowerment tools to live with dignity and build their dreams for life, um, essentially. Um, and so the Financial Futures Initiative has a couple of programs to do just that. The mm -hmm. biggest one right now is the Volunteer Income Tax Assistance Program, where we help individuals file their federal and state income taxes for free. When you say free. Free does absolutely mean free. We do the electronic filing for free, the federal and state. We do direct deposit. We can split your refund between a number of different accounts. We can even help you purchase tools to help build your financial future, like savings bonds, the Myra, and we can just help you do anything that a paid repair can do, but for free. And how long has this been going on? Oh, it's been going on for over 20 years now. And this program, exists why? This program exists because it dovetails exactly with what we should be doing as an anti-poverty agency. Mm -hmm. Between the earned income tax credit and the child tax credit, those by themselves spur more families out of poverty than any other public initiative. Is this program appropriate and effective for a family that's only made, say, $12,000? Is it worth their time? The earned income tax credit has a credit available if you've earned as little as $11. And so it really helps families who make any amount of money up to that 54000 And it's really helpful for those who are right in the middle. So it works like a bell. If you worked a little bit, you'll get a little bit of a credit. As you get to the middle of the income threshold, the maximum credit is available. And then as you start to become a competitive earner, it's more of a supplemental credit. And so at any point within that spectrum, whether you make a little bit or whether you make closer to the income threshold, it's very helpful to move families forward. It rewards people for their hard work throughout the year, but they don't happen to be competitive earners. So this credit kicks in and tries to spur more people out of poverty again than any other program. But even if it doesn't take you completely out of poverty, what it does is it's been shown through studies to make people less poor, if you will. Mm -hmm. um, essentially, it really has helped a number of families, especially working mothers. We have seen that over time, that working mothers who receive the earned income tax credit have more work or higher work rates than people in similar situations who do not have access to the EITC. There's also an intergenerational impact because it helps we, with the family stability. We find that the youth that are impacted by this credit can actually be found to do better in school mm -hmm. academically, and you have higher college entrance rates of, with those families who have access to the EIC. So it's not just just for the individual who's receiving the tax credit, but it benefits the whole family over a long period of time. Now, uh, how much money do folks get back? The average return is about sixteen forty-seven, mm -hmm. but they could go up to about fifty percent of someone's working income for the year. What's the largest that you've that you've heard of? Twelve thousand dollars. Really? Yes. Now, other credits that families should be considering or taking advantage of. I've heard about the circuit breaker. What is that credit or benefit? The earned income tax credit and the child tax credit really have been helping our families in, that are just getting started. Mm -hmm. But seniors can benefit from coming to a VITA site mm -hmm. by getting the Senior Circuit Breaker Tax Credit. It's a credit for either homeowners or renters who pay more than 10% of their total income towards taxes. You have been working with this program and helping families for some time. And so my question is, what are some of the unique challenges that you have seen over the years mm -hmm. that families are struggling with that you with your expertise and your team with their challenges are able to assist with? Initially, the first one that I can think of is identity theft. Mm. 10 years ago, I've been. this is my 11th tax season, um, 10 years ago it was a lot harder 
to identify those individuals. But as we're in a bigger, faster environment, the challenge has become greater because it's just that much easier for someone to either steal someone's information from a trash bin or if they happen to not have the proper security over the internet to unfortunately even family members actually using their children's or somebody else's children's information inappropriately. The great thing is that you can still file your taxes and you definitely should file early. Filing early is one of the best ways to prevent identity theft mm -hmm. because it's the first return that gets in electronically that blocks a second attempt. And if you happen to unfortunately be that second person, even if you are the rightful taxpayer, you end up having to file a return by mail. And ABCD sites have been really sharpening our pencils and honing our expertise on being able to support individuals who have been impacted by identity theft when we when we identify that's happened. Is there something that changes if someone's been a victim of identity theft when they come in and have a conversation? Indeed, the Internal Revenue Service has an ID theft protection pin mm -hmm. and that pin re um, prevents anyone else from filing a return electronically. What other challenges have uh, families faced over the years in filing? I know that what we talked off uh, on the break was about health care. Yes, the, um, uh, the ACA, or the Affordable Care Act, mm -hmm. has been part of the national tax program since last year. However, in Massachusetts, it's been part of the Chapter 58 legislation many years before that. Mm -hmm. And so we are familiar with it on a state level, but on a federal level, it becomes a little bit more complex because there's, with the ACA, the premium tax credit, or what we call PTC. And it's a credit that reduces the amount of your insurance premium to make it more affordable. Mm -hmm. Individuals can get it either during the month to month or at tax time. But either way, they have to report it on their taxes in order to be eligible to receive the credit for the next enrollment year. You have to file your return in order to reconcile those amounts. That is correct. Okay. Earning the premium tax credit makes it required for you to file a tax return, even if you have not met the income threshold. Any other unique challenges that are going on? Just really understanding any tax law changes that come up from year to year. It's very important to always know as an earner whether or not you have a requirement to file or whether or not it's important, um, it's important enough for you to come in. Sometimes if you don't have a requirement, there's still the benefit of a refund from refundable credits like the earned income tax credit or the senior circuit breaker tax credit. Mm -hmm. However, no matter where you go, it's very important that you understand the terms and conditions with getting your refund. What are some of the things that families sometimes don't do well that make it harder or longer when they get in the, get in the office. Number one, don't forget your last year's tax return. The next thing is to always bring your originals in, if at all possible, making sure that you don't forget any mail that the Internal Revenue Service or the Department of Revenue has sent to your home in order to be prepared for mm -hmm. this tax year. And they send a lot. They sure do. How can people contact the program FFI or to get their taxes done? Is there a contact number? We are within a moment's reach of all 16 neighborhoods mm -hmm. of Boston. And if you have any questions, you can call our main office, Tax Help Central, at 617-348-6583. Angie, <laughs> I want to thank you very much for coming on the program. I think taxes is something that we really need to hear about over and over and over again. And so we'll probably have you back on to talk about it. <laughs> thank you. Nice. It's a pleasure to be here again. All right. That concludes our program. Be sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And if you've missed any episodes, you can get them on YouTube. Thank you for joining Community Taking Action. I am your host, Eric Mitchell. Until next time.